number seven ranked walkaway contender in the world, Nate Diaz! A question frequently posed is, why does everyone eagerly tune in to watch Nate Diaz in action? He exudes a wild and disrespectful demeanor. And if you happen to rub him the wrong way, be prepared for punches to start flying, whether in a hotel or a parking lot. Nate couldn't care less about others' opinions or the potential consequences. Despite not boasting an impressive fighting record in the sport, fans consistently find themselves drawn to witnessing him in combat. Stepping into the octagon, Nate transforms into an entertainer, delivering his infamous Stockton slap to adversaries and boldly flashing the middle finger whenever the opportunity arises. Now let's revisit Nate Diaz's greatest hits and moments, delving into why this Stockton native has secured a spot as fan's beloved fighter. And if you guys enjoy this video, please subscribe and be the force behind our push to 10,000 subscribers. Let's do this! Unveiling Nate Diaz The mere mention of Nate Diaz conjures images of his casual yet perfectly timed use of expletives, coupled with a fantastic sense of humor, a barrage of middle fingers both inside and outside the octagon, and his captivating antics. Whether he's hurling a fellow tough fighter's mattress into a swimming pool or engaging in a bottle skirmish between his team and Conor McGregor's at a press conference, the Stockton native consistently provides audiences with moments to anticipate. Carrying a straightforward, thug-like demeanor from the gritty streets of Stockton, California into the octagon, Nate Diaz maintains an upfront attitude. Since his days on The Ultimate Fighter Season 5, he has never failed to captivate a crowd, perpetually embracing a confrontational and entertaining approach. The UFC community was really introduced to Nate's behavior on the Ultimate Fighter 5 reality show when he stood up to Carol Parasian. At the time, Carol was at the time a force to be reckoned with, and on top of that, he had a controversial win over his brother Nick. Carol Parasian was messing around with Nate, thinking he could bully him. Out of the blue, Nate stood up to him and was all ready to throw down right there. It caught everyone off guard, and you could see the shock on people's faces. Nate wasn't having any of it, showing he's not the one to back down, even if he was about to get into a brawl with a former WEC welterweight champion. However, the real MMA fans were not strangers to Nate's wild attitude, as he has already shown his demeanor on a few occasions prior. A year before, his brother Nick fought Joe Riggs and lost the fight unanimously. The fighters went to war and both sustained injuries that required additional medical care, so they were driven away to a hospital, and this is where things got interesting. Unhappy with the outcome, Nick Diaz noticed Joe Riggs passing by his room and jumped on him for round four. Joe did not expect that, but somehow he regained consciousness and started to fight back. The funniest thing about this whole situation is that Riggs thought Nick's little brother Nate was a sensible person. Well, he couldn't be more wrong. Having one Diaz in the MMA scene was already pretty wild, but throw in two and it's a whole different story. Poor Jason Miller found that out the hard way when he barged into Jake Shields' interview right after Jake scored a win against Dan Henderson. Now, Shields is tight with the Diaz brothers from Stockton, and they weren't about to let Miller off easy for messing with their training partner. So within seconds of Miller's interruption, the Diaz brothers jumped in, ready to give him a piece of their minds for disrespecting their buddy. How about the altercation between Nate and the mountains people from Dagestan? Nate Diaz and Khabib Nurmagomedov have had their fair share of run-ins. These two fighters clashed a few times, with tempers flaring and words flying. It's like every time they're in the same space, things get a little tense, and you can practically feel the rivalry in the air. The whole Nate and McGregor saga wasn't all about rainbows and sunshines either, especially outside the cage. Their press conference turned into a bit of a wild ride, well, after McGregor finally decided to show up, that is. McGregor rolled in a cool 30 minutes late to the Vegas press conference, and honestly, he didn't seem too sorry about it. Things hit their peak when Diaz and his crew bounced from the stage, and suddenly, it was a bottle-slinging, middle-finger-flashing fiesta all around. Total chaos, you know? As you can see, Diaz brings his signature style to these street encounters, making them a unique and unpredictable experience. Brawls outside the cage are a spectacle in and of themselves. The Unconventional Paths Fearless in his approach, Nate Diaz doesn't shy away from unconventional methods, even if they come with potential consequences. One standout practice is his use of marijuana, a choice not many fighters are willing to embrace. Nate at one point took a bold step by adopting a vegan lifestyle. While he later admitted to incorporating fish and eggs into his diet, the initial venture into veganism showcased a level of courage uncommon in the brutal world of fighting. The demands of intense MMA training and the stigmas attached to veganism make such dietary choices a risky move. Remarkably, Nate persists with a plant-based diet during his fight preparations. Some credit this choice for his impressive resistance to knockdowns in the ring. Despite facing losses, 
Diaz has yet to experience a knockout, even after absorbing powerful strikes to his head. While his granite chin is often credited, speculation arises about the potential anti-inflammatory effects of his plant-based diet, suggesting it might play a role in preventing his brain from shutting off when under impact. Gangster Fighting Style Nate Diaz tends to take his warming up in fights, but once he hits his groove, his true essence shines through. Every now and then, his forearm stretches outwards, almost like he's throwing a question mark at his opponent with that poker face. It's a taunt that provocatively challenges them, asking what else they've got in store. Even though these taunts might not earn Nate Diaz points on the judges' scorecards, they sure do resonate with the audience and mess with his opponent's head. Often paired with his signature Stockton slap or a bold display of both middle fingers, it's a move that adds flair to the fight. And if Diaz's striking and submission skills aren't enough to thrill the crowd, he throws up both middle fingers while holding an opponent in a triangle choke. It's this kind of showmanship that makes Nate Diaz the complete package for firing up the audience. Nate's cardio game has always been off the charts. Recently, he spilled the beans that he's hooked on triathlon training, and that just might be the secret sauce for his beastly gas tank. The Stockton native taps into an endless well of cardio with this unique training routine. When it's a five-round showdown, his opponents better believe they're stepping into Diaz's playground. Thanks to his triathlon training, the latter rounds of a fight tend to be where Diaz truly shines, showcasing his peak performance. So let's revisit some of those moments that turn Nate Diaz into a superstar. Nate Diaz's Greatest Hits Determined to carve his own niche in the MMA world, Nate Diaz sought to break free from the shadow of his older brother and establish his own memorable legacy. A year post his triumph on the Ultimate Fighter show, the Stockton native faced Kurt Pellegrino in a bout that mirrored the fierce spirit of his older sibling Nick. Sealing the victory with a stunning triangle choke, Nate embraced his wild nature by celebrating early and flipping off the crowd, a bold move that only added to his charm. Who could resist loving such a gangster move? Slowly but surely, Nate emerged from Nick's shadow, captivating audiences with spectacular performances in the octagon. A notable instance was his clash with Donald Cerrone, where he gave him the bird mid-fight before convincingly defeating him. Yet, despite the wins and the trash talk, Nate hadn't earned the superstar status he rightfully deserved. That all changed in December 2015, when he faced Michael Johnson. Nate not only dominated the American on his feet, but also delivered an iconic post-fight speech that became his ticket to glory. Granting his wish, Nate was pitted against the rising star Conor McGregor on two weeks' notice. McGregor, the sport's biggest star at the time, seemed invincible. Nate, though a tough fighter himself, took the fight on short notice, unfazed by the odds. Despite McGregor's onslaught in the first round, Nate persisted like a relentless force. In the second, after staggering McGregor, he forced the Irishman into wrestling mode. Capitalizing on McGregor's desperation for a double-leg takedown, Nate locked him into a deep submission, presenting him with the choice to tap or nap. The crowd erupted, a victory few foresaw, but not surprising to the Stockton native. Following this triumph, Nate added more feathers to his cap with victories over former lightweight champion Anthony Pettis and a submission win against Tony Ferguson, flexing his muscles even before Ferguson tapped. Although the UFC belt eluded him, Nate Diaz stands as one of the company's most beloved fighters, constantly delivering bouts that fans eagerly tune in to watch. So we come to the final question. Why is Nate Diaz fans' favorite fighter? Nate Diaz's appeal to fight fans goes beyond his fighting record. Fans love Nate Diaz for his unapologetic and wild demeanor, both inside and outside the octagon. From his Stockton slap to his signature middle finger displays, Diaz brings a unique showmanship to his fights, making each bout an unpredictable and entertaining experience. His confrontational approach and willingness to engage in street encounters contribute to his gangster-like fighting style, resonating with those who appreciate authenticity in the sport. Moreover, Diaz's unconventional paths, such as his use of marijuana and adoption of a vegan lifestyle, showcase his fearless approach and willingness to go against the norm. His commitment to a plant-based diet and triathlon training adds an intriguing layer to his persona, sparking discussions about its potential impact on his performance and endurance. Nate Diaz's greatest hits, including memorable victories and his ability to emerge from his brother Nick's shadow, have further solidified his status as a beloved fighter. His triumph over Conor McGregor on short notice and subsequent victories over notable opponents have endeared him to fans, establishing him as a superstar in the MMA world. Ultimately, it's Nate's combination of skill, showmanship, and authenticity that makes him a fan favorite, drawing eager viewers to tune in for each of his electrifying performances. Thanks, fight fans, for tuning in, and we can't wait to see you in the next one.